gunfire liaison officer to one Marine Expeditionary Force. So right now we're on San Nicolas Island. We've conducted Tomahawk Test Flight 409. Really what we tried to do is develop some procedures to bring Tomahawk down from the strategic and operational level down to a more tactical environment. TLAM is Tomahawk Land Attack Missile. It's a cruise missile, it's subsonic. It has a range uh, beyond 1,000 nautical miles. It can do a number of things for us. It's obviously used as a deep strike asset uh, for an immature battle space environment. You have a lot of variables and the ground force commander or any commander is really not willing to assume a certain level of risk with ground forces or aircraft. Tomahawk is the perfect uh, weapon of the day to get you in there and uh, to be able to provide that deep strike capability. One MEF is given an area of battle space. They have identified a high value individual or high value target within their AO. One MEF goes out to Third Fleet and says, you know, we have a high value individual. We don't have anything organic to us to hit the target. What can you provide? And Third Fleet comes back and says, okay, we're going to give you a destroyer or a cruiser in direct support of your mission and establish communications on whatever frequency they have available. One MEF then gives Durloth or direct liaison authority between First Anglico and the shooter and from that point on they can execute the mission as they desire with One MEF and Third Fleet oversight. At the end of the day uh, we developed some great products that will go into TTPs for the fleet, J-Fire, etc. Hopefully when the time comes that this is brought to uh, a legitimate battle space uh, the products we've created and the capability we've created uh, can be used effectively. The Tomahawk Land Attack Missile TLEM, or BGM-109, is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile that is primarily used by the United States Navy and Royal Navy and ship and submarine-based land attack operations. Introduced by General Dynamics in the 1970s, it was initially designed as a medium-to-long-range, low-altitude missile that could be launched from a surface platform. Since then, it has been upgraded several times with guidance systems for precision navigation. In 1992-1994, McDonnell Douglas Corporation was the sole supplier of Tomahawk missiles and produced Block 2 and Block 3 Tomahawk missiles and remanufactured many Tomahawks to Block 3 specifications. In 1994, Hughes outbid McDonnell Douglas Aerospace to become the sole supplier of Tomahawk missiles. It is now manufactured by Raytheon. In 2016, the U.S. Department of Defense purchased 149 Tomahawk Block 4 missiles for $202.3 million. The unit cost is $1.87 million. The Air Force is a former operator of the nuclear-armed version of the Tomahawk, the BGM-109G Griffin.
Securite, Securite, this is Fleet Control. Fleet Control to all vessels in the vicinity of 3327 North, 119, 19 West. Due to live firing exercises, request all vessels maintain a 7 nautical mile radius from position 3327 North, 119, 19 West until 1600 local. For further information, contact Fleet Control on VHF channel 16 and 11. Out. Seconds, stand by to launch. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, our, our competition is not the ships that are on the piers next to us, but the adversaries, or potential adversaries, that we'll be facing uh, on the other side of the world. It is impossible for us to know everything that is being planned or the reason why we're doing something, but we have to have the trust that our leadership is, is doing it for the right reasons. We have to